Hello everybody and welcome to the math challenge uh, number four and this amazing problem is also called as the flight of the bumblebee. Now let's try and imagine what is happening here. Now you see there are two trains which are traveling towards each other. The speed of one train is 20 kilometers per hour. The speed of the other train here is 30 kilometers per hour. The distance between the two trains, as you can see here, is 150 kilometers. Now, the B here is, is kind of playing a game. Now, the B travels back and forth, up, up, you know, between the trains. Like, let's suppose uh, the moment these two trains start, the, the B starts from here. So, the B goes here and maybe it meets the first train here. It goes back and then maybe it meets the second train here. It goes back. It meets the first train here again. Goes back, goes back. So back and forth. And it keeps doing this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth journey till the two trains collide. I just hope the B is okay after the collision, but, but never mind. The speed of the B is actually faster than the speed of the two trains. The B is traveling with the speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Now what we've got to do here is figure out the total distance up, up, you know, traveled by the B before the two trains meet each other. Now, if we were to, you know, try and approach this problem uh, in a general way, like let's suppose after one hour, after one hour, this train would have covered a distance of 20 kilometers, right? Because the speed is how much? 20 kilometers per hour, which means in one hour, 20 kilometers would be traveled. And this train would cover a distance of 30 kilometers, right? And the B here in one hour is going to cover 50 kilometers, right? The B is going to cover 50 kilometers. Now, it, it still hasn't met uh, this train because this train is, is just here after having traveled 20. So another hour, this B again travels and this train is also traveling and this train is also traveling 30. Minds are blown up if we are to go with this approach, right? Because it, it's, the calculations get too complex after one point. Like uh, this train in the second hour, in one more hour, this has traveled 20 plus 20. So overall, this has traveled 40. And this has traveled 30, 30. The B has traveled 100. Maybe it touched the train and then went back in the direction of the second train. So this approach, well, this is going to be too clumsy and too time consuming. We actually need a simpler approach. And let's go and understand what the simpler approach is going to be. Now, forget about the B. Yeah, for a moment, just forget about the B and all you need to worry about is after how many hours these two trains are going to meet each other. That's it. Just forget about the B for the time being. Now, in one hour, after one hour, the first train would have traveled 20. As I said, you know, the first train would have traveled 20 and this train here would have traveled 30. Now, collectively, both the trains together have traveled a distance of 50 kilometers, right? In one hour, good. In the next one hour, similar situation will happen. This first train will travel a distance of 20 and the second train will travel a distance of 30 again because the speeds being 20 kilometers per hour and 30 kilometers per hour. So again, they will collectively travel a distance of 50 kilometers in the second hour as well. And magic happens in the third hour, you know, at the end of the third hour where this train is going to travel 20 more and this train is going to travel 30 more. And as you can see, when you add up all of this, the first train, uh, uh, you know, having traveled 20, 20, 20. Yep. So the second train having traveled 30, 30, 30. And, and together they have traveled a distance of 150, which was the separation between the two trains, right? It's just that the first train being slower had, had traveled uh, 60 kilometers and the second train being slightly faster had traveled 90 kilometers, right? Before they meet at this point. Yep. So now you tell me, in how many hours did the two trains meet each other? Well, the two trains met each other after three hours. Right? This is a fairly simple thing. Yep. Now bring the bumblebee. Now the bee would have also traveled for three hours back and forth. Right? What was the speed of the bee? Well, the speed of the bee was 50 kilometers per hour. Right? So the bee was traveling for three hours. Yeah. It doesn't matter in which direction. It was going here, turning back, touching the train, turning back, touching this train, turning back. So there was constant back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But the bee did travel this back and forth journey till the two trains met each other. And the two trains met each other after three hours. So there's only one conclusion. The B also traveled for three hours. Let me write that down. The B 
traveled for three hours back and forth, which means the speed of the bee being 50 kilometers per hour, the distance traveled by the bee is going to be 50 kilometers per hour multiplied with three hours, which is going to give you 150 kilometers. So you see this approach fits in so perfectly. Yeah, so hence the flight of the bumblebee. I'm sure you've understood this now. So the answer to this question is going to be 150 kilometers. Awesome. Now this is going to be a limited time offer. As long as you use, the, use this code YT free, free access to Baiju's classes and all the premium content present on the app. So this is going to be one amazing opportunity you cannot afford to miss. So do give it a try because the advantages are simply amazing. The two teacher advantage first, one teacher to teach you the concepts and then another one present to clarify all your doubts. One-on-one -on -one guidance from a personal mentor, live classes, amazing assignments and assessments that help you, uh, uh, you know, uh, find out what are some glitches or loopholes in your understanding. And finally, hey, you can schedule the classes as per your convenience. Now, as long as you're able to use this code YT free, this is going to be absolutely free. But do remember, only for a limited time, uh, uh, this would be free. And if you liked the flight of this bumblebee today, do hit that like button, share it with your friends. This was an amazing problem nonetheless. I'm sure you'd agree to that. And lastly, if you still haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you for your time. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.